Bob Huggy Pear Hertzberg. It starts out with photos of Senator Robert Hertzberg, recently accused of excessively hugging women at the state capitol. If you've been sexually harassed or assaulted by a state assembly member or senator, you can anonymously report them at sacramentovictimshotline.com. The media company behind the ad is owned by former Bakersfield mayoral candidate T.J. Espinito. I'm not going to talk about who we're supported by. He claims the ad is funded by two victims who work at the state capitol and wish to remain anonymous. Our goal is to empower victims and give them the tools necessary to report these things and to take a stand no matter how powerful the person is committing these acts. It's hard to tell where it's coming from and it, it makes certainly, I know myself and, and those of us over at We Said Enough wonder what the motivation is behind it. We Said Enough, a movement of women fed up with the culture of pervasive sexual harassment in the political community, has already made strides toward solutions to address sexual harassment and assault. To encourage people to come forward without a clear understanding of if they'll be legally protected and, and what services are available to them. Um, we have a lot of concerns about the impact that that could have on potential victims. That site only gives victims the option to leave an email address, but doesn't provide resources up front. Victims who provide their email addresses will only be given a monthly newsletter. This is the one Esposito sent me. There's a link for a harassment video, but when you click on it, the site cannot be reached, and the only resources provided here are numbers for the Sacramento Police Department and Weave. Senator Hertzberg says this video is being used against him because he supports bail reform. Sacramento Victims Hotline was created to target lawmakers and staff who are supportive of bail reform. The video speaks for itself. Some in the bail industry are trying to weaponize the We Said Enough movement by fronting as a victims group, but they won't say who's paying for it. Espinito says he has done campaign ads against issues that involve Hertzberg, but says this one is not tied to bail issues. And for the people that think this is a political act, I would say shame on you. Dana Griffin, KCRA 3 News.